In this video, I'm gonna show you how to unlock the full output power of the HD Zero Freestyle VTX. When you buy the VTX, it has a maximum output power of only 200 milliwatts. And if you wanna use the higher output levels of 500 milliwatts or maximum output, you have to do this unlock process. Now this is for legal and regulatory reasons. So if you wanna do this, make sure you do your homework, make sure this is something that's legal and allowed in your area. But I'm gonna assume that you've done your homework on that. And so in this video, I'll show you how to unlock the VTX to get that full output power. Now this is a simple process. There's only about three steps, but it's really important for you to follow all three of the steps or the process won't work properly. So don't stop this video in the middle. Make sure you watch all the way to the end and complete all of these steps. The first thing you need to do is set up your VTX and you're gonna do this exactly the same way you would with a normal HD Zero VTX. So you'll wanna attach it to power and ground and attach the TX and RX to your flight controller. I'm not gonna go through how to do all of that. You can find the pinout for it in the manual on the HD Zero website. And I do have a previous guide that goes through how to wire up an HD Zero VTX if that is something that you need. With this VTX, if you're using a 4S battery or larger, I'd really recommend using the included BE to power the VTX just for maximum safety. Also, make sure you go ahead and attach a camera and antenna to the VTX. You wanna have both of those things connected because during this process, you're gonna to need to power up the VTX and you wanna have those things connected so that it all works properly and so that you don't damage the VTX. Also, go ahead and make sure you've got a fan around because whenever you're working on this on the bench, when you power up the VTX, it's a good idea to have a fan blowing on it just to keep it cool and keep it from overheating. I always like to have one of these around when I'm working on HD Zero and this VTX does get hot, so make sure you've got a fan nearby. Once you've got all of that set up, we're ready to do the unlock process. Now, basically what you're going to do is flash a special unlock firmware to the VTX and then flash a normal firmware to it. So I'll walk you through that process. The first step is to download the unlock firmware from the HD Zero website. So go to that site, go to the download section and look on that page for the unlock firmware. As I record this, it's in the utility section and it's called unlock freestyle. Go ahead and download that, and when you extract that zip file, you're going to see that it has the same hd0tx.bin that you would normally see for an hd0 VTX firmware. You should take that file and put that in the root directory of the SD card for your hd0 receiver. Then you just need to take your receiver, plug it into the VTX with the firmware update cable, and do a firmware update just like normal. If you don't know how to do a firmware update, I've got a complete guide on that where I go through start to finish exactly how to do a firmware update. So just check down in the description below and I'll have a link to that guide if that's something that you need. This firmware update is going to be really, really fast. It won't take long at all. And once it's done, you can disconnect that firmware update cable and power off your receiver. Now this part's really important. Before you continue, you have to power up the VTX normally. If you don't power up the VTX, it's not going to work. It's not going to do the unlock process. So make sure you power up the VTX just like you were normally going to use it. You can plug in power to your drone and watch it power up. You should see some LEDs appear on the VTX. Now, exactly what you see might depend. You might see that blue LED blink a couple of times, or you may just see the red LED, but you just wanna give it a few seconds and wait until the LEDs stop blinking and you should just see either just a red LED or a red and blue LED. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and power off the VTX, power off your drone. I'll say also that at this point, the VTX is not really going to be in a normal working state. If you were to take your receiver and power it up, you probably wouldn't get a signal from the VTX. You're not going to be able to see the camera or fly with it. This is just what you have to do for the unlock process. So now you need to download normal firmware to the VTX to restore it to the normal working order. To do that, go back to the HD Zero website, back to the download section, and then just grab the latest version of the firmware. And remember, you always want your firmware to match between your receiver and your VTX, but you also need to make sure that your firmware supports the Freestyle VTX. So you're probably going to need to grab the newest version of that firmware. Once you've done that, you can extract it, put it on the root directory of your SD card, and then use your receiver again to attach the firmware cable to the VTX and execute the firmware update. Again, this is a pretty simple process. It's just like doing a normal HD Zero firmware update and it won't take very long to do it. Once you've done that, you can disconnect that firmware update cable, power up your receiver and your VTX, and you should have image. You should be able to go into the settings at this point and select one of those higher power output levels, and this completes the unlock process. 
I also wanna make sure to tell you that this unlock is a one-time thing. So you only have to do this once. When you do future firmware updates for this Freestyle VTX, you're not gonna to need to do that whole unlock process. You can just load firmware like normal and it's going to work and you'll still have those higher power output levels. You can't ever go back, you can't relock the VTX. I, I don't know why you'd want to, but once you do this, it's done and you don't have to do it anymore. So that's really all there is to it. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you're new to HD Zero, just getting started with this stuff, you might find some of my other guides helpful. So I've got several guides that go through how to set up HD Zero, how to troubleshoot problems, you know, just various things like that. And I've got a link down in the description with a playlist to all those videos. So that might be something that's interesting to you. And if you like this video, I'd encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I talk about a lot of HD Zero stuff on here. I'm always releasing new videos and I'd encourage you to stick around and see what's coming next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.